To add a new list of readings from your library's collection, click on Turn Editing On. Then select Add an Activity or Resource for the week in which you'd like to add readings. Then click on External Tool and click on Add. Name your reading list. And under the External Tool Type menu, select the Reading List tool. Here, we've called it Curricula Builder, although your library might call it something else, depending on what the name of your search service is. Then click on Save and Return to Course. This creates a new link for your reading list. When you click it, you'll be presented with a search box that will search through your library's collection. Here I'll search for Roundhouse Kick. Underneath each result, you'll find a button that says Add to Reading List. I've added a few items to my reading list. If I click on See Current Reading List at the top, I'll get to annotate and sort these items. So for example, if I think the second one here is optional, I can write that in and bump it down to position 3 in the reading list. I can also add in other notes, like Read Paragraph 4 through 8 by Monday. And then I can click on Update Notes and Sort Order. I can also add links to external websites I'd like them to read. and then click on Add to Reading List to add that to my list. You'll see now that that link I can sort and annotate like the other readings I've already added here. I can click on this link to make my list public so other course instructors can copy it in. I can also choose the Import from Existing List to see lists that I've created in the past. Now let's see what students will see whenever they click on this link. On the left, I'm going to switch my role to Student. When I click on this link now, I'm simply going to get a list of readings I need to do. When I click on one of these readings, I'll get a detailed record for the item, and I'll also receive a link to full text.